How's it going, guys? It's Shake with the Click Tool Academy here. Um, we're going to be talking about something that a lot of people have been asking about, and that is, what is my uh, regiment when it comes to working towards my goals? What do I do every time I set a goal for myself to make sure that at the very least, I'm always working towards it? I'm never stagnant. I'm never stuck in a cycle that I don't want to be in. And there's a set of principles that I use, and I'm going to teach you them now. So let's go over them. Number one, you need to have rituals. And when I say ritual, I'm not talking about some kind of fraternity hazing ritual or something like that. I'm talking about you need to have things in your life that you do every single day. You need things that will provide you with an active perspective. Because one of the most important things when working towards a goal is to have an active perspective. And what I mean by that is so often everyone, everybody is victim to getting caught up in their thoughts, getting consumed by the anxieties of the future or the regrets of the past, and not just living in the moment and actively working towards what they want to accomplish. Um, so by creating rituals and living by those rituals, you can ensure that at least for those periods of your day, you will be active, you will be focused, and you will hopefully be able to carry that active and focused energy into the rest of your day. So for me personally, um, as an example, every single morning at around 7.30, I, 7, 7.30, I'll wake up and then I'll make sure by eight o'clock I'm at the gym on the treadmill running a mile. It's not super intensive, it's not super crazy, but at the very least, it makes sure that I am in that headspace every single morning. I'm focused, I'm ready, I'm starting my day, and I can then carry that to the best of my ability. You know, not everyone's perfect, obviously, but to the best of my ability, I then carry that focused, active energy into the rest of my day as I work towards my goals. Um, another example would be at night then, at the end of the day, before I go to bed around you know, 11 or whatever it happens to be, I will sit down and I will meditate for 10 minutes. And I use a, um, a Zen Buddhist meditation practice where I sort of, not necessarily try to clear my head, but I focus in on my thoughts. I sort of focus on my breathing, try to, try to step out from, again, that, that headspace, that thought, that negative energy, that, that anxiety, that regret, whatever it happens to be, and really just stay focused in the active moment. And that's how I end each day, by, by keeping active. Um, so just having rituals like that is incredibly important to, to work towards your goals and to maintain that active, focused daily lifestyle. Number two, you can't put more on your plate than you can eat. You can't be too big eyes, all right? You need to focus in on a set of just a few goals, all right? It's okay to have more than one, but you can't have 20 goals, all right? You can't want to be uh, a professional uh sports player and a astronaut and a PhD scientist, you know, you can't do that. That's not possible. You don't have enough time in this life to do that. So you need to pick those few. They need to be at least somewhat related um, and or at least they need to be able to connect in some way and work together in some way with synergy for you to, to work towards them. And you need to focus in on those few goals and make sure that's all you're focused on. Uh, for example, myself, I'm super focused on updating and improving my um, academic course that I'm writing with my team here at the Click Tool Academy, and that is the Click Tool Masterclass, and, and sort of ensuring that it is as good as it can possibly be. Because the internet marketing industry is an industry that's constantly changing, and as a result, I need to make sure that I'm constantly updating that course to meet the modern trends in the industry. Um, if you want, you can check it out, link in the, in the uh, description below, uh, Click Tool Masterclass, if you want to learn how to do internet affiliate marketing, uh, it's the best way to do it right there. Obviously, I'm a little biased, but uh, it's, trust me, check it out, it's, it's incredible. Um, anyway, moving on, um, it's, you, it's essential that you, that you focus in on just a few, few goals though, if you want to be successful. Number three, okay, understand it's great to have huge, massive goals. You want to be the richest person in the world. You want to own the Dallas Cowboys, well, you know, whatever it happens to be awesome. I totally support it. I wish you the best and I'm hoping that you succeed, but understand if you only have those massive goals and nothing else, you're not gonna succeed, you're gonna fail. Because it can't just be day one, be wherever you are right now. Day two, reach that massive goal. It doesn't work that way. You need to break it down into smaller goals. You need simpler steps that will help you on a more short-term scale reach that massive goal. And without it, you're gonna fail. Number four, this one's pretty similar to number three. Um, it's also about breaking down your larger goals, but it's more about time periods. While you might have your smaller goals 
might be focused on your results. They might be about, I have to hit this point. I have to accomplish this. You also need goals that are based in time. So what that really means is you need to make sure you're organized. You need to know what am I going to accomplish today? What am I going to accomplish this week? What am I going to accomplish this month? What am I going to accomplish this year? So on, you know, you need those mapped out. Um, Bill Gates, for example, had the, when he was a teenager, I think had something like 10 years mapped out. He knew exactly where he wanted to be in 10 years. And it's essential that you, you know, maybe you don't have to go to that quite that extreme, but it's essential that you at least have the next year mapped out. Go right now after you watch this video, sit down and map out the next year if you haven't done so already. Um, and if you do that, you will make your goals far easier to accomplish. All right, those are four of the ways that I sort of make sure I'm constantly working towards my goals. Um, to summarize, what's most important is that you're maintaining an active, focused approach. You're organized. You know where you want to be, not just at the end of your journey, but tomorrow, next week, a month from now. And you're able to keep that regiment, that focused routine going. And if you do that, you're going to be hard pressed to not at least be working towards your goals at all times. I'm not going to say you're not going to fail at times, but you at the very least will constantly be moving forward and accomplishing stuff. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe, you know, how about right below something that you do to make sure you're always working towards your goals every day. All right. Thanks so much for joining me. It's been Jake with the Click Tool Academy. I'll see you in the next one.